hello, you are joining me in my bathroom as I'm recreating Taylor Hill's Vogue makeup video. I even tried to recreate the messy bun she has in, even that's worse. Like this is just, it's not gonna go well, but we'll try. Okay, so first I prep my skin. I just use like a little bit. Uh, my skin gets really dry from travel, so when I do my makeup, I always like extra prep. Like I use three, as you'll see, three skincare products. So what I gather from that is me and Taylor are literally the same because I also have dry skin. <laughs> We're literally finding anything that we have in common. So I'm gonna follow those steps. She uses three skincare products. I'm starting off with the face serum. I don't know how many drops of this to do. I feel like I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand first. Oh, it's very runny, it's very runny, it's very runny. Ah, how does she do it so effortlessly? And then just going to pat. And then next step is moisturizer. So I'm taking this Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. It's so good. And she just takes a little bit. So I'm gonna take this, this amount. And then the last for the skin prep, I've got this eye cream by Avant. It's the Hyaluronic Acid Molecular Boost Eye Cream. Like, look less tired is definitely taking care of, like, your under eyes because, like, I have really dark under eye circles from mostly genetics. Like, if you can't get enough sleep, I definitely think I have a lot of under eye creams. I'm not even tired right now and, and it's, it's the afternoon and this is just me. I literally remember watching this and being so jealous of her dark under eyes. I thought they were so beautiful. Like, they just made the eyes put more. And ever since this video, I've always wanted dark under eyes. I understand. Why should I want to cover them up? Who else has a dark under eyes like Timothy Chalamet? You know, it's kind of like the in... I don't want to say it looks in, but you know what I mean. I think if you're insecure about something, there's so many other people out there that see it as beautiful. So, for instance, I want to now recreate under eye bags rather than get rid of them. Very beautiful. And I'm jealous if you have them. A skin tint with, um... Uh, SPF sunscreen in it and I just put like a little on my hand you know if like 20 makeup artists tell you that you should wear sunscreen on your face every day then you probably should so I just kind of do it because you know I want to age well to me that looks like the YSL skin tint I don't have that so I've got the Bondi Sands SPF which is tinted so it's the same sort of like tinted SPF vibes but I do completely agree with when she says that you should wear SPF every day from makeup artists. Every makeup artist tells me to use SPF. And I try to, but in England it's hard because it's not sunny so you never think SPF. So you have to make a conscious effort to do it. I actually forgot how much I love that. I think I stopped using it because someone on TikTok commented that it causes like all these diseases and things because of the ingredients it contains. But does it really matter? <laughs> like, I, I don't know how, I feel like everything causes something nowadays and I was like, it's just always the product if I don't use it. So, I'm happy I tried it out again. Next, I'm just gonna use a little bit of powder because I'm a little bit of a shiny person. Do -do -do. I put powder all over my face. Okay, interesting. So after the foundation, she powders straight away. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. I think she used like a translucent powder. But again, we're making most of what we have. I would never powder straight after foundation. I think I'd always do concealer and all my cream products first. But we're trying something new. If it makes it like Taylor Hill, then it's worth it. Next is concealer. I'm using two different colors. Yeah, so she does go in with concealer after, which is interesting. I'm going to stick with Maybelline. I'm going to take the Fit Me concealer and just put that underneath. Sometimes I use brushes, but for the most part, like if it's more natural the makeup, I like to use my hands. She uses her fingers, which I'm actually really happy about because I love using my fingers. Even some makeup artists on set still use their fingers if, again, they're going for the natural look. So. I feel less disgusting about myself. I always wash my hands before, that's like, obviously. 
So next, I'm gonna add a little color with a blush contour palette. She's going in with blush. She has like this palette. I think it's Lancome, but um, I also don't have that, believe it or not. So I'm not doing well for the products. But I've got this like mini Nars Orgasm because the color she used really reminded me of it. It's like pinky, glowy, and still with like a bit of coral in it. I've got the Chanel, I think it's so Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer. Doing it here defines your jawline and then it also like blends your foundation makeup line that we all sometimes get. I hate it when that thing shows. And she's contouring her jaw, which I always do, so this is literally perfect. I love how bronzy and glowy it's looking already. It's, it's already quite similar to what I'd do on a typical day. I'm going to use some highlighter. This one's like a little bit more brown. Okay, so she goes in with a brown highlighter, although we're not the same skin color, so if I do that, I'll look stupid. So I thought instead, I'll go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, like the bronzing shade, because it's got quite a bit of glow in the product. So if I concentrate that, where she said it might give a similar effect. I'm just gonna put this also like up here. It's like a little more golden. Then she goes in with a bit of a lighter golden highlight, which I can do. And she puts that on her cheekbones. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury one. I use it's the same palette for my eyes. It's for your face, but I don't care. This is this is the highlighter part of the palette. I like it because it's a little more matte and not too like shiny and glowy. And then I use the little like pinker color just like in the corner. And then I take the contour. I shape it outward. So then she uses all the exact same products but creates an eye look with them which I absolutely love because one, it saves money with buying products and two, it makes a whole look tied together which I think makes it look bronzier and better. I'm taking the highlight and putting that all over the eyelid. And then she puts the blush in the outer corner which I've never done, so I'm excited to try. I won't really like hand it with the blush, but now she adds the contour, and kind of defines the crease and blends them all together, I believe. And then I take the dark, fun little highlighter. I just feel like it really defines the eye, but not not too much. Okay, she also takes a bronzy highlighter underneath the eye, so I'm just going to do that now. Eyeliner. It's taken me years and years of practice to be able to perfect the art of my cat eye, and I still suck at it. <laughs> but I'm gonna attempt it anyway. My trick for it is I start out like where I want it to go and draw in. Now, I ain't no professional, so remember that, all right? I'm gonna mess this up and erase it and redo it, and that's okay. It really talks about how she is gonna mess it up. She's not a professional and that she's not gonna, when she literally does it perfectly first time. The same is not gonna happen. But she did give a little trick. She said to start out and then bring it in, which I'd usually start from here outwards. This could go terribly wrong. But I also don't own the liquid eyeliner. So I've got the Lisa Eldridge Coal Liner in the shade Ground Coffee because it's brown and she uses brown and not black, which is also interesting. A fun fact, well, I don't know if I should be sharing this, but I went through a terrible phase of just buying new lip liners rather than sharpening them because I lost my sharpener and then I just never got around to getting a new sharpener. It's just easier to get a new lip liner. But then I tried out this Lisa Eldridge eyeliner and it changed my life. I was like, this is incredible. I cannot live without this. So I bought a sharpener, especially for this eyeliner. And now I resharpen all my things.
try my best to get them equal, but I did use this tool. Always great to make them match up better. I just kind of like take it from underneath and wipe upwards, and then you can kind of match them by using this instead of being actually skillful at doing eyeliner. She gave her another really good tip of not going all the way in on your upper upper eyelid, but instead by going in your lash line, you can bring it all the way in and make it appear that you've done the line when in reality you haven't. I'm gonna give my lashes a good curl. I love my eyelash curler. I have five. I always, always do black mascara because I like a bold eyelash, even if I have nothing else on my face. Okay, thank goodness she uses an eyelash curler and I literally cannot travel anywhere without this eyelash curler. She mentions that she has five. I don't own five. I have this one, but this is a special one. And if I lost it, I would cry. Also loves using black mascara, which is good because I'm the exact same. I thought she was going to use brown again, but she didn't. I bought the Max Stack Mascara. This is like jet black, which is perfect because that's what she also loves. She said she could wear mascara without anything and I completely agree. I think it just changes your face. An eyelash color and mascara can transform your face. Can't argue with me. Use that instead just to make them go up. I used to have kind of a unibrow, so I would beg my mom to wax my eyebrows, but she would never do it because she was like, you have eyebrows like Brooke Shields. She did pluck them for me in the middle. Just I feel like we have very similar brows. Hers are a bit more prominent, I'd say, than mine, but my mom always told me to not pluck my eyebrows. There's still some really mean comments that I get. It's like, what was that? I had this one on TikTok the other day, and I was like, you will be so much prettier if you change your eyebrow shape. I'm like, maybe I should. They're like, no, Lauren, no. Brooke should have them, so it's fine. She just runs mascara through her brows, so I'm going to do the same. I've never thought to put black mascara through my eyebrows because I was just assumed it'd be too dark for me, but I love how it's turned out. It like, adds another layer of definition than the eye makeup I'm really thoroughly enjoying. I mean, Taylor obviously knows what she's talking about. My last touch is my lips. I start with a lip liner and I will put on the color, like a nude matte, basically, like a matte color. She goes in for lips. So she uses like a dark brown nudie lip shade. So I've just got this natural collection one. And then she says she goes in with like a nude matte lip. So I've got the NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. And that is the makeup look complete of me trying to recreate Taylor Hill's makeup. I just love the Vogue Beauty Secret videos. They're like my comfort place. I can't explain it. Throughout A levels, it's what got me and my best friend through. We're literally in politics and we were watching the Vogue Beauty Secrets at the back of the class because they have that much of a trick hold on me. They're just, they're, they're beautiful and perfect. I can't explain. Yeah, I actually love how this makeup turned out. So this could be my new everyday routine. So thanks, Taylor. I'm saying this as if she's ever gonna watch it, like, but like, hi. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe maybe. Um, goodbye.